His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 29 for this year, adopting the fourth national plan for telecommunications. The plan outlines the policy of the telecommunications sector for the next three years and aims to develop telecoms infrastructure and cover all areas of the kingdom, thereby enabling the provision of higher speed services at reasonable prices that will contribute to national economic development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today sent a cable of condolences to the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the demise of his mother. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family members, praying to Almighty God to rest her soul in eternal peace and give strength and courage to her family to bear their loss. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today a number of royal family members and senior state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed that despite the current economic challenges, the Kingdom is moving forward with development so as to achieve its goals in order to guarantee the progress of the country and meet the demands of the people in terms of quality of life and housing, education and health services. He called for redoubled efforts to complete development and service projects, noting the major projects for developing the infrastructure of energy, housing, health and education, which are an indicator of the vitality of the national economy. His Royal Highness recalled the role of Bahraini families and their contributions in reinforcing development efforts and commended the values of Bahraini society that encourage communication, cohesion and unity. The Prime Minister praised the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for being the protective shield against all attempts to harm or divide Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rafah Palace today the former Jordanian Prime Minister, Dr. Abdusalam Al Majali. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep rooted relations between the two countries and people, noting the importance of building on joint cooperation to achieve further development. The Crown Prince commended the contributions of the former Jordanian Premier and discussed with him regional and international updates. He said that peace-loving countries must join forces to maintain regional security and stability and highlighted Jordan's role in protecting regional security. For his part, Dr. Al Majali noted the excellent relations between Bahrain and Jordan and stressed the importance of expanding cooperation. He also thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his care and interest in strengthening relations between the two countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also met at Rafah Palace today the Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Alak Kumar Sinha. The Crown Prince said that joint cooperation must be enhanced so as to reinforce economic cooperation and increase the volume of bilateral investments in the best interests of both countries. He highlighted the historic relations between Bahrain and India and stressed the need for unite, unified efforts on regional issues to reinforce its security and stability. For his part, the ambassador thanked the Crown Prince for his interest in promoting relations between Bahrain and India in all fields in the best interests of the two countries.
under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and founder of the KHK Mixed Martial Arts Team, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the GCC Creativity Conference 2016 was launched today at the Regency Intercontinental Hotel in the presence of the Youth and Sports Minister, Hisham Al Jauda, President of the Representative Council's Youth and Sports Committee, MP Ghazi Al Rahma, the Governor of the Capital Governorate, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the President of Arab Science and Technology Foundation, Dr Abdullah Al Najjar, and a number of senior officials and academics. His Highness hailed Bahrain's government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, through its plans and strategies for supporting youth. He also praised the huge efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, to develop initiatives for supporting young people's creativity and innovation in social, cultural and sporting fields. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, approved three decrees by law on amending the Commercial Companies Law, establishment of a regulatory authority for Bahrain conventions, exhibitions and tourism, and transferring the work of the Supreme Council for vocational training to the Pension Fund. The Council approved four draft laws regarding electronic transactions, the Salaries and Pensions Fund, improving the living standards of private sector employees and the Wages and Pension Support Fund. The Council then approved a report by the Services Committee on Unemployment Insurance. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain Oil Shares Index closed at 1,111.67 points, falling 1.13 points below last closing. The downturn was in the commercial banks, services, hotels and tourism sectors. The commercial bank sector saw the highest in investors trading with 37% of the total shares. 27 transactions included 777,637 shares worth 117,180 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain's daily used products, most of which are antiquities today, are only a part of the Gulf country's deep-rooted heritage and traditional items that today have a higher price tag than they would have done 30 years ago. More in this report with Sara Albarek. The Laguna Auditorium in Amawaj Island was home to an antiques auction managed by Salah Antiquities. At the auction were a number of Gulf professionals and people following their love for regional antiquities. This will be one of the biggest uh, auction to be held. Uh, it's part of the activity of Bahrain Philatelic Society, which gathered uh, plenty of uh, collectors from Bahrain and GCC. They are interested in collecting different items, as we display today in this auction. Mr. Salah al Muhiz, the auction supervisor, stated that hundreds of projects are being displayed, ranging from old telephones, cameras, and radio equipment to kitchenware, dishes, pictures, and even the first ever copy of Akhbar al Khalij newspaper printed on February 1, 1976, and estimated to be the most expensive antique product at the auction. Part of the things that the section we have here will be a huge table full full of uh, different sizes of plates. These plates we call it Ramadan dishes. Uh, it was plated and uh, decorated with a lion picture and it has a good memory for us since the let's say late 60s or early 70s. It was used to for the in the neighborhood to distribute Ramadan dishes from house to house. Uh, there are the green, the dark green, there are the brown and uh, the, the purple one. And, uh, and believe it or not, some of the people here, they are specialized in these plates. They can tell you this plate made in where, 
and how old it is. The main idea behind the auction was to present the old ways and traditions in the Gulf and introducing them to today's generation that has missed a lot of wonders of how their ancestors lived and how today's technology-driven world actually started. An example is an old projector from the 60s with several rolls of film, among which is a live video film of the pilgrimage at that time. This, as I came to know, the oldest part will be a kind of a projector, of cinema projector. It contain uh, an old movie about Mecca. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55.